Hey guys, I'm going to do a little jury rigged uh, video. It's my last night in the 100 mile wilderness and I uh, wanted to try and catch a little bit of my thoughts and experiences on film before I hike out to Monson tomorrow. Get a bath after 10 days and uh, wash clothes, eat lots of food. I'll go to the library and catch up on my trail journal and try to type up all my notes. Um, right now I'm camped right below a little place called Little Wilson Falls. Come about 107.7 uh, .7 miles of the Appalachian Trail so far and I gotta tell you, the 100 mile wilderness in Maine is far and away the hardest backpacking I've ever done. It is nothing but roots and rocks. Um, it's like boulder slides with uh, hundreds of year old tree roots just woven throughout it and uh, throw in a a whole bunch of mud and muck in the bogs. It's beautiful country, but it is just brutally rugged to hike through. Um, it's amazing to me the people that build trails up here. They cut stone steps in places that you just cannot imagine how they got up into. And the climbs are straight up and straight down. There's no such thing as a switchback here. It's too hard to build trail. So it's hard on the knees and the ankles. I'm at camp right now and I've had all my painkillers. I feel like about 90 years old at the end of a day, but I am covering about 12 miles a day, roughly on average, which is all I got right now, but that's what I was hoping to do. Um, getting ready to have a little dinner tonight. It's rehydrating right now. I don't know if you can see it. I'm hoping my camera doesn't fall apart here. My little stick pick gadget that puts it on my trekking pole lost a part somewhere along the trail. But uh, if you can see that, this is my little camp kitchen here, a little alcohol stove. I'm rehydrating some dehydrated vegetables and some ramen noodles tonight. And uh, that's dinner, oatmeal in the morning. And uh, my food bag, which was stuffed full 10 days ago, is down to just a few morsels left, enough to get me to town tomorrow. Um, really incredible first 10 days. I think I can do this, but I'm gonna take it one day at a time. So far the body's holding up pretty well. Been meeting lots of people and talking about Lyme disease. Um, been passing out the little cards that our support group had made up with our website and I just put my trail name Unitic on there and we've got such great information on our website and uh, Vicki, our webmaster, master, is also tracking uh, my trail journal on there and my YouTube channel. So if you visit www.kentuckyindianalimesupport.org, you can follow my adventure. Also giving out the tick ID cards from the Lyme Disease Association. So far, no ticks on me in Maine, which is great news. I have met three through hikers who caught Lyme disease in Pennsylvania and another one that caught it in Virginia. So it is there. Um, real quickly, I'll just give you a, a look around camp. That's my hammock set up, my backpack over there. Um, I'll take you on a tour if my knees will help me get up. Oh gosh, it hurts at the end of the day. This is uh, my tarp. It's a Wilderness Logix tadpole tarp. Weighs about 13 ounces. Underneath there is my bias weight weenie hammock and the nano bug net or bug net bug net or bug net that uh, Shane and Brian the owners and operators of button a sling hammocks donated for the hike thanks guys we're happy to have you as a sponsor of journey through Lyme so this is my uh, my abode tonight um, got an under quilt a down under quilt that keeps my derriere warm and in that little green bag right there is uh, my top quilt. And it's really, really comfortable. So far I've only had one night of rain on the side of a mountain and the trees that I was hanging from were swaying pretty, pretty uh, decidedly. It was a very interesting experience, but I did stay dry and uh, everything performed wonderfully. Um, this is just some of my kitchen stuff, my water bladder that I drink out of during the day kitchen supplies, and over there's my water filter hanging on that far tree, um, getting me some water for tomorrow. 
and that's my backpack everything fits up into there it's about 28 30 pounds on average and uh, so far it's operating great if uh, if my body holds up um, as well as my gear we uh, we should hopefully make another almost 2100 miles so I'll check in with you guys soon I want to thank everybody for the support looking forward to connecting with you guys via email um, when I get into Monson tomorrow I'm gonna to take a rest day there um, probably start back onto the trail on the 25th so for now that's unitic out later